we were just uh, setting up for the news conference and then, uh, let me tell you, the whole world seemed to go mad here. What happened was that two family members were actually uh, caught, managed to get into the news conference, even though we do need to show our passes every day in order to get in. I uh, don't know how they managed to get in, but they did. They seem to be quite hysterical at times. A couple of them are holding up the banners. They have been literally forcibly removed from that news conference. Uh, a woman, uh, a Chinese woman, uh, probably middle-aged or thereabouts, absolutely sobbing her heart out, physically manhandled by these men who are standing behind me. I'm not sure who they are. Some of them, as you can see, are wearing uniforms. Others are not. I don't know who they represent. Obviously, the Malaysian authorities. She was dragged against her will down those steps uh, where our uh, cameraman Barnaby is standing just at the moment and then forcibly thrown into this room. Another woman who had been, a much younger woman, who had been dragged out of the uh, room as well just a short time earlier, she'd already been thrown very unceremoniously into this room. We can only assume, obviously don't speak the language, but we can only assume they are family members, uh, really, really incredibly distressed. They've gone in here. We don't know what's going to happen to the news conference. We don't know what's going to happen to these women. We're certainly being told in no uncertain terms that we have no access to this room whatsoever at the moment. Let me just see. So you're live on Sky News at the moment. Can I ask what happened? Can I ask what happened? Can I ask what happened? Can I ask you what happened? Can I ask you what happened? As you can see, they're literally very reluctant to speak to us here on Sky News. So just to recap, I can tell you what happened. There was a news conference scheduled for about half an hour's time. We were just setting up. We saw two women come in with a banner. They unfurled their banner. They were obviously making a protest. As you know, some of the uh, family are very, very, very frustrated about the lack of news and they have threatened to go on hunger strike um, at the hotel in Beijing. These are uh, women local to Malaysia, potentially uh, representatives of families who had loved ones from Malaysia. We don't know at this early stage. But they were very, very quickly pounced upon by the security personnel. And so can you tell us what happened? Sir, can you tell us what's going on? I don't know. Yes, you do know. You were in the room with them. What happened, sir? What happened? Who I'm were tired. they? I'm tired. No, You're tired. I'm sure they are as no, well. So what happened? No, doesn't want to tell me. So let me move back to where you are. So they were dragged forcibly, one at a time, down this stairway. Uh, the first lady had two men with her, forced down the stairs, thrown into this room. The second one was in her middle age, I would say maybe 45, 50, 55, potentially three or four men carrying her, sobbing her heart out. Again, put into this room. They say that they want to know more information about their loved ones.